got to get that owner operator out of here. That's one thing I will say about the Oreo. The range is better. The range is better than the Lady Death. All right, we got to be ready for him now. Yeah, so it's so it's RNG with who comes out of here because okay now this there's no chungus or um not no chungus there's no uh dogs or anything like that. <laughs> These dudes blanking boy. <laughs> They are flanking, boy. <laughs> Let's put the Ouroboros on. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? And that was with stacks. Okay. Stacks up here. Nah, son. Nah, it's not happening. <laughs> it's a brr, brr, brr. Uh, no, no wasted shots here. No wasted shots. Oh my gosh! Satisfaction you feel. Oh, I hear you. Sorry. Sorry, I can't allow it. I can't allow it. I apologize, but I can't allow it. <laughs> I can't allow none of them shenanigans. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is a juicy topic right here. Okay. I'm in my Discord right now. And I thought I'd go here right away to test this out because somebody made a comment in one of my videos. When I made my Jackal PvP build, PvE VP build with the Ouroboros. And they were saying that the Ouroboros is trash. The Lady Death is still the queen of the Division 2. And it made me think, man, the they have a lot of toys that come out in the Division. And whenever new exotics come out, other exotics seem to be forgotten. It seems to be forgotten how OP or ridiculously OP some of these weapons are. One being Lady Death, which actually caused so much uproar in PvP with those overpowered meta builds. It was like one of the craziest metas, the Intimidate Adrenaline Rush with the Lady Death and the Crusader Shield. Not to mention that it was an awesome PvE weapon. So, let me just go ahead to the build arsenal hub because I want to put this in there with Striker. I want to test out the Ouroboros and the Lady Death to see which one hits harder. Granted, the Vector SBR hits really hard in general, just as far as an SMG. I think it's the hardest hitting SMG variant, but we first have to see how hard it hits on paper, basically the time to kill for an Elite, then we could test it out in some gameplay. It's going to be real quick, let me just put together this Striker build and then I'll come right back to it. Okay, now I think I pretty much got it set up, and when you look at it, the time to kill for an Elite or the Ouroboros is a half of a second. Now, with other buffs going on, it's even less than it. The TTK for an Elite, time to kill is crazy on here, in general. And when you look at this weapon's firepower, this is the average with nothing else except for the crit values that are involved in the weapon itself. You can't factor in the, you can't factor in whatever buffs the healer gives you, whatever help or whatever buffs the team gives you. So half a second is pretty significant, right? So now let's put in, and I wouldn't have been able to do this without this build tool. I mean, you can go in the gun range and check it out for yourself, which is fine. But to get very accurate answers and results, I'm here and check this out. So now it's time to test out the Lady Death. And by the way, the Grudge. You know, the Grudge is the SMG with the CMMG Banshee, the named 
SMG that I forgot what the talent was where when you shoot an enemy that has a status effect applied it gives you and your team 30% crit chance and crit damage for a certain amount of time. That SMG weapon variant is the same variant of the Lady Death. You just can't tell because of how sick the Lady Death's exotic skin looks. So, <laughs> whoa, I just put in Breathe Free. I just put in, the, put in the SMG Lady Death and look at the time to kill for an Elite. 0.5 seconds. That's 0.3 seconds less than the Ouroboros. And remember, this is what without any of the buffs. Now let's go in, into the game so we can see how this is. The thing is with the, the Oral Burrows and the Lady Death, both of them have a low magazine size. Oral Burrows has 41, the Lady Death has 33. And both of them hit hard, which is why the magazine size doesn't really matter as much. You know, I think that out of all the weapons, you know, people have been ramping and raving about the Oral Burrows, And I love that weapon. I love the talent and how you can just dish back what people dish at you. But I had to think back, man, like what, what other weapons can be a true contender to this insane SMG? And that's, that's the Lady Death. Let's put on a striker build, okay? We set it up a little, the backpack. We're going to do the full meta, all right? We're doing the full meta here, okay? Now, none of, <laughs> both of my Ouroboros and my Lady Death are not maxed out in, in terms of damage. They're pretty much similar. We got 12.5. The Lady Death, 17.5 crit chance. And this is actually damage to armor. And that's the thing. I don't even think that you can re-roll this or recraft this Lady Death and get a different attribute like you could the Ouroboros. That's the difference. So damage to armor and damage to targets that are covered, they're both great multiplicative bonuses, but this came out a long time ago and it was before you were able to recraft the exotics in order to yield a different result for your attribute that was only when the sacrum imperium came out a couple patches ago so i think these are like grandfathered into this damage to armor just like the capacitor you can't change that you can't change the merciless's crit chance so there are a few exotics you can't change and we just have to, and we just got to deal with it but some people prefer damage to target shot of cover others prefer damage to armor so it just depends on the build that i'm using in that regard for me but the stats are almost the same. We got a little bit less crit chance over here on the on the late on the Euroboros than the, than the Lady Death. So, but in terms of damage, they're pretty much similar. So, all right, now let's look at the build finally, and then we're gonna look at the stats. Forty-one point five one sixty-two. That looked pretty much the same as it did on the build tool. All right, now let's look at the Lady Death. Forty-three point five, one hundred fifty-seven. Now that's probably has something to do with what's actually on the weapon itself. So you got crit chance for the scope, reload speed, five hundred percent melee damage, and crit damage. Okay, that's where it comes from. The base damage is at ninety-one k, and this is at eighty-nine k. This is like close, man. This is pretty close. And see, the SMG damage for the Ouroboros is, is higher, but still the base damage. And I don't have any of these expertise at all. Like, this is just proficient rank four, and this is proficient rank six. This is a pretty even kill comparison. Same here. Crit, no, no. Okay, crit damage. The other one had crit chance, reload speed, crit chance, and rate of fire. So, okay, all right. Do I have SMG damage? Yes, I do. He stacks up. Alright, or Boros. <laughs> I think that's pretty I think that's pretty accurate as far as the time to kill, right? Now Lady Death. Now remember, remember, Lady Death said that it kills faster. Wow, bro. Wow. <laughs> now hold on a second. Wait a second. You guys don't realize. Okay. What do you think did did it faster? Ouroboros or 
of Lady Death. You see the DPS is 10 million. 11 million. Okay. Okay, now look. The Ouroboros doesn't have any damage for its exotic talent. All it says is rule them all. When the, when the agent has a status effect applied to them, 50% of the ammo in their, in their next magazine will apply the same status effect to their targets, and this can only occur in combat. The Lady Death is different, right? This is all about amplified damage all around the board, which is why this gun was so OP, and they actually had to nerf it because it, this amplified damage that they're saying, 75%, was more than this. I can't remember the, the amount, but you, you can comment down below to tell me how much this was. But the reason why this is such a specimen of a of a weapon is because Breathe Free is the exotic talent. Because when moving, you gain four stacks per second. And then eight stacks if you're sprinting. So if you're just jogging around, you get four stacks per second up to 32 stacks total. Okay, now eight times 32, you can do the math. All right, each round fired consumes a stack. So let's say you get two stacks of the eight stacks while sprinting so it amplifies that damage that you gain per stack from sprinting or running by 75 percent and when you kill a target it increases your movement speed by 20 percent people were having a problem with this in pvp which is why i had to do this comparison when i was doing it in the build tool it was based on none of those exotic talent buffs you don't get any damage buff from ouroboros's exotic talent but you do get a crazy Insanely good amplifying buff on the Lady Death. This is exciting news for me because I've always wanted to use a different weapon besides the Ouroboros for my DPS build and the Lady Death is a perfect contender. Now, let's let's run around a little bit. <laughs> get those stacks up. Wow my gosh, look at that! Look at that, 1.4 to the body, yo. Like, what the heck is this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so look, we already know. We already know about the Ouroboros and, you know, how hard that hits and everything like that. Look how you're running. That's crazy, that sprint. You see the sprint slow down. It slows down after a while, but that's all you do in the game. You run around. That's, you're just running around getting to your targets especially in the incursion you can't stand still in the courtyard because you're gonna get hit with the, with the mortars and then you're running around in a tanker fight you're running around in the right fight everything is catered to use this weapon or with striker it's insane okay so let's see what bounties we have Hostile control point detected. hey Oh, this is different. This is different. Look at this. This is a whole different setup. Okay. You know what? I think that I'm, I'm not going to go with... Okay. Jack's still pretty messed up after what happened at Kelly College. But she's found her footing since the outcast abducted her. Let me go ahead and switch to rock and roll so I can get more ammo. I'm not using the grenade. Only got one armor kit, by the way. Because I didn't refill. Okay, we got some yellow bars here. Get these stacks up. Feels really good. Thanks. See, this is when I. Taking the risk here, folks. Stacks up. So stacks up, baby. Melted. Uh, 
That looks painful. Heading in. I'll come back out there. Oh, other way, other way, other way. There. On to the next one. Alright, let's put the Oro on now. Let's put the Oro Bros on. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? And that was with stacks. Okay. He stacks up here. Nah, son. Nah, it's not happening. <laughs> Is it brr, brr, brr? Uh, no, no wasted shots here. No wasted shots. Oh my gosh. The satisfaction you feel. Uh oh, I hear you. Sorry. Sorry, I can't allow it. I can't allow it. I apologize, but I can't allow it. <laughs> I can't allow none of them shenanigans. <laughs> All right. System reactivated. Okay, I got two. Uh, you know what? I don't look. I'm about to be careful, man. I, you see how you see how impressive the EMP sticky bomb is, but I want to get through this mission. I don't, you know, I want I don't want to take no chances right now. I don't want to start over. Cause that that'd be annoying. Let's go back to the lady death. You see, we giving it we giving it fair shots here. What do you guys think down in the comments? Let me know what do you think about how all of this is working out. Okay. There you are. Awesome. I apologize for the longer than normal video, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like the video if you are. Like I'm streaming out here. I don't really think that I'm going to use Reviver Hive. I went ahead and switched over to EMP Sticky Bomb because... Yeah, because dealing with those... Dealing with dogs and stuff like that. One of the, one of the dogs had... Uh, Something that was electrocuting me, and and that's what made me die twice. The first time I went down was because, yeah, was because it it, it locked me in place. The second time I went down, even after I got up by the revive hive, it did the same thing. So we got to be ready for it. And I wasted it. Let me just relax a little bit. Let me relax a little bit because I'm not trying to get taken out off some garbage. We got to get that owner operator out of here. That's one thing I will say about the Oreo. The range is better. The range is better than the Lady Death. All right, we got to be ready for him now. Reloading. 
Yeah, so it's so it's RNG with who comes out of here because okay, now there's there's no chungus or um not no chungus. There's no uh dogs or anything like that. <laughs> These dudes blanking, boy. <laughs> They are flanking, boy. <laughs> I was sweating right there. I would have been so pissed if I died. All right. Oh my gosh. Whew, this is intense. That's one thing I love about the manhunt bounties. They surprise you. They're completely different than the other ones. Ammo out here. Gonna be another one? Okay, I think that was the first boss. Okay. Oh, door right here. See, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen this door before. Wait, what is this? Can I get some lights on? Oh, okay. Ammo. Got one armor kit. I'm gonna really play it safe here, y'all. Oh, so I'm playing it backwards. Because this is the way that we come to fight. Alright, let's pull out the Oreo. See that that the the vector just has some ferocity that no other weapon has. That fire rate is crazy. Okay, there you go. Come on now, you're gonna come up behind the dude. Gonna come up behind me and a chunga at that. All right, y'all, y'all really trying to take a brother out. Smelted. I knew you was gonna do that too. Bite you. Nice. Free free time, baby. I was missing on that. That's one thing I like about about this talent is that when you kill an enemy, it increases your movement speed. So the movement speed for this, you know, when you're on the shield is less, so you move faster. Did you know that when you shoot the, the robotic dogs in the leg, it, it deals direct damage to their health? It's just harder to hit the legs, but if you sh shoot them directly in the legs, it's gonna deal direct damage to their, to their health. You don't have to go through any armor or anything like that. Just a quick tip. Y'all making it easy, man. This is like a line drive right down the hallway. <laughs> yes, sir. Legs, baby. I just think that Here's here's what I think the difference between it. I'll go I'll go through the breakdown after this whole thing because I, I want to explain to you why I feel like one not is not better than the other or just the differences they have. All right, this is probably a little tough because 
They're coming up from the top. I think that I should just aggro them and then come back down. Yeah, I think they should. I, I should let them come to me. Make sure I look at all the spots. Ooh, this is a nice spot. Okay. I'm not trying to get flanked, man. Rather than not trying to get flanked. And I just got flanked. Keep my whips about me. Gotta keep my wits about me. Nice. That healer box out of there. That your healer box? Yeah. Got another one. Here's the stairs. I just, bro, I just, <laughs> I just do not want to get flanked. Rescue mission is kind of crazy. Oh, I hear some. Okay. Sir, let's go. Okay, I didn't have to use my Nice, I didn't have to use my EMP sticky bomb on that one. Okay, where are you coming from? Fuck you. Denied. Agent deceased. The Orboros and the Lady Death are both great options to use with the striker. As you can see here, I was using it in the incursion just to see the damage that the lady death deals and honestly i don't feel any different when i'm using the lady death except for the fire rate but when you're moving around with the breathe free talent that the lady death has it gives you more damage because of the amplified damage that it provides so you can actually use either one if you prefer the ouroboros use that if you prefer the lady death you can use that but overall it was a fun experience today and i just wanted to show you this comparison because I actually think that this is a viable contender for the Ouroboros. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comments section. Stay tuned for that Lady Death build I'm coming out with soon. It's going to be crazy and I can't wait for y'all to see it. But if this helped y'all in any way, if this was insightful to you in any way, I'd appreciate a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next one fam. Be right out. No.